going on right now? Oh god, no. This what just happened? What is going on? Oh, no. It's Megan and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome to my channel uh, Today we are watching season 1 episode 8 of the wolf of wolf pack and I'm super excited to get into it I've been dying to watch this episode since it premiered two weeks ago <laughs> Actually, maybe not two weeks ago, but it was like a week ago um, but I was Going away for the weekend to go to 90s con so that's why I wasn't able to watch it or edit it for you all because I was away so I couldn't do it and then this past week um, I ended up hurting my wrist as you can see I have this to try and help it so I'm not I'm gonna try and my best get this up for you all you're going to see this but if you see this then I've gotten it up uh, but I do apologize for how late it has been I didn't intend for this I intended to film this the Monday I came back but it's just like I was emotionally drained and then my wrist was killing me it's sometimes you need a vacation from your vacation at times but I am super excited to get into this episode because I want to see what happens because in the last episode it ended with um freak with Baron getting stabbed and the uh, pack trying to save him and bring him back to his human form. Meanwhile, there's tension or something going between Ramsey and Garrett, but they also found all the bodies that Baron as a wolf had collected. Maybe there was more than just what Baron had collected, but Ramsey said that she was going to have to uh, call this in and that's kind of where that left so we're not really sure what's happening uh I'm pretty sure in this episode it is confirmed that she is the mother I think I saw something about that but I'm not 100% sure because it didn't really state that um I tried to stay away from all spoilers everything it just it happened to be like a somewhat big wording in a post or something like that it didn't rec actually really spoil it but also the promo kind of said it in a way too meanwhile a lot of other like little tidbits here and there are kind of bringing you to that conclusion so we'll find out we'll definitely find out so i have no idea how this ends i have avoided all and any spoilers I could about this even from Sarah Michelle Geller herself and <laughs> and the Wolfpack Instagram because I wanted to be surprised I didn't want to find out what happens so I am hurting myself by doing this <laughs> I was hit I was doing this uh, that hurt so <laughs> so yeah so before I let's just get started but before we start get into the episode if you enjoy my content please be sure to subscribe if you have anything you want to say about the episode or the reaction please comment down below please keep it spoiler free even though this is the season finale uh so actually no you don't need to keep it spoiler free because I've seen it and everyone else has seen it so feel free to talk about the whole season this episode, anything, uh, but any spoilers for the next season, keep those out. I don't know uh, if we have anything or if it's been picked up yet, but keep it strictly to season one. Okay, uh, and be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and yeah, without further ado, let's get into the episode. <laughs> No, don't pull the knife out, Everett. Don't do it. The hell is this? Is this like a makeshift hospital? Because I'm guessing that. Yep, there's Baron. Okay. Like, what the?
Okay, what is going on? And now that's over it. What the? Let me give you some water and I love to hydrate. It's all perfectly normal. Normal. And if comfortable, we can bring the parents in there. Oh. Mr. and Mrs. Lyon, come on in. What the hell is happening right now? That's Baron, but they're calling him Everett. I'm lost. So lost. Oh, and there's Sarah. There's Ramsey. Yeah. And. How you doing? Garrett. Is this normal? It doesn't seem normal. We're particularly therapeutic. What is going on right now? I'm so confused. I think I've said that multiple times. Oh, you know what? she's now Probably arson. Really estimated Another round of 70 milligrams? Make it 90. Is that safe? Absolutely. Those who give pain management is much higher. But those are also the two that died, aren't they? <laughs> it's the two that Baron killed. Oh, I'm putting silver in. Okay, well now he's fine. What? I let Blake take my phone when I'm driving and I need her to send a text for me. Oh, oh so now work. he's experiencing. Yeah, okay, he's experiencing the all them. The problem is you're not looking, you're digging. You're trying to find something that justifies your paranoid bullshit. It's yeah, not he's. Paranoid if it's true. So first it's Everett. Yeah. Now she. Now he's Blake. He's experiencing all the different. All right. Issues in because this Give is because do this is Blake's okay. parents. No, I said, Danny, no kidding. Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, because that was Blake's parents fighting because she was cheating. And now we're at Garrett. Luna and Harlan's house. Like, okay, so he's experiencing some... I'm slowly understanding what's happening right now. Slowly. What did she do? Something a nine-year-old girl shouldn't be able to do. She doesn't remember doing it. Okay, so is he Luna or Harlan? None of it. Nothing happened. 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 And there's, I forget his name off the top of my head right now. Yeah. And there's a wolf, like. There's a wolf! I got caught in the fire. The fire didn't kill you. It changed you. That's why I brought this. Like, this is just, oh, weird. Oh. I'm dreaming. 
Like, so is Baron okay, or is he dead? And who is this? Oh, that was, right, that was Harlan. When he was a young child. Wait, I know you. You're like me, we're, we're the same. It's okay, I'm, I'm not gonna hurt you. That's right. You'll rip your throat off so fast and won't kill a thing. <laughs> Wait, stop doing it! If we pull the knife and he changes back, no! Okay. <laughs> it was like, oh, what the hell was all that? That was that was kind of crazy. Okay, so they brought him home. Why are my hands shaking? That's your anxiety. Not mine. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I'm done with my anxiety. How do we know it's not the silver that's keeping him from changing back? We don't, we don't know anything. Maybe he does. Is that Garrett? Oh no, it's the uh, unknown caller. Answer the call. Answer it. It comes from him. He's been in Dodge now, in the Bond Fage, the Power Fage. You'll be more there again. Oh. Thought maybe that's what you want, personally. I don't know why anyone would choose to be ordinary. So if Baron dies, then they don't become wolves anymore. Let him die. No, Blake. Lula's eyes wasn't them. They don't know anything about it. Do you think she's lying? Probably. I'm not sure anymore. Oh. If you can hold out with me a little bit longer. Well, she. I'll take care of him. Call. But this is where our, what, the bodies? She found came to, or how? How did they find him? I want first to make sure Austin keeps his mouth shut. Austin, that's his name. Yet. We'll probably. But I don't think he's dying. And he can just stay here for now. My parents don't come home for an hour. I can lock the door. Oh, so they're at er Everett's house. Okay. What do you think he can? We already know what he can do. And that is what kill. Oh, that too. Yeah, there's, I forgot about that one. She always knew. What? Oh. Remember when we saw the marks on Garrett's truck? Your horse. I, I heard them talking about it. So. You didn't tell me? You really wanted me to tell you that you killed your own horse? Oh. So that was a real memory, and he's known all along. Interesting. I want you to tell me the truth. Oh, Blake and Everett are snuggly, snuggly. He's been like that for hours. Maybe he's not dying. It'd be such a tragedy if he did. It's basically a mass murderer. He is, but then you lose all your wolf name. Killed Garrett the other night. Remember? Die. If we get control of this, Mullen has to die. We can protect anyone. We could hurt anyone. I mean, there's good and bad things to everything, it's Blake. Follow up with what happened at the party. Just promise me the question for all yes and no. 
all the two of you say from this moment on is yes and no. Anything we shouldn't tell her? I don't know. Is there anything you haven't told me? <laughs> yeah, there's a couple. <laughs> couple things. I think she just answered that question for you, Garrett. Hmm, or Cyrus. Or Cyrus. Cyrus. Yes, the arsonist. <laughs> interesting. That's a very interesting dynamic there. Okay. I just saw that, Mr. Because I know you like me. I kind of like you. <laughs> if you really like me. Fuck you. See, we keep talking about that, but we never get around to it. <laughs> I wanted to watch something burn. What did you burn? You know those housing developments that all kind of look the same? So is she listening in too? Yeah, maybe no one would notice one missing. Did anyone get hurt? Oh, no, it was empty. It was still arson. It was a shit ton of property damage, and they're gonna use it against me. And sorry, Harlan, but I think I'm pretty fucked. I'm getting you out of this. Oh. I want them to be happy. Sorry, Harlan. This conversation's over. That was weird. We need to open up the freezer downstairs. Why? We got 18 bodies coming in, including Officer Trent Miller. Where were they found? Same construction site. Someone called an anonymous tip. Anonymous. Oh. Oh, she's saying it wasn't her. Please. I need you to trust me on this. Get Cyrus out. Then I'll trust you. Ooh. <laughs> this is. Oh, the tension is rising. Oh, so bad. Tension is rising. So, that whole look between her and Luna. Was that kind of like, uh, bitch, I know what you can do? <laughs> I mean, not really, bitch, but it was more of a, I know what you can do. I know you can hear. And was she listening in on the conversation between Harlan and Cyrus? Like, so many questions. Hey, it's here, it's me. It's here, it's me. What the? He looks like Baron. Is. Okay. What was that? Remember when they? What is that? I think it was Ramsey. What is it? Remember that I love you. Even though I'm not your even though you don't see me in your wheel. This is when he thought he was gonna die. We need to tell him about Mary. Everything changes now. Once the FBI gets here, I'm out. 
So I need you to talk to me, not in vague illusions. I need details. You trust me. No. No. Not at first. Not okay. until I saw you myself with Harlan and Luna. That's when it changed. Uh, so this is a, a flashback. So she's kind of letting him in on her truth. So he lets her in on his truth. And this is where the thing from the promo where she was lying down with Luna comes from. Because I was wondering how that happened. That just seemed kind of strange. Also, the fact that none of them are waking up to the fact that someone's in their house is kind of interesting, mind you. Oh, she's waking up. But now there's no one there. She definitely felt something. How would Danny know it was Bear? He would have seen the werewolf. Not parking lot! Jesus, Danny! We get it. Parking garage, not parking lot. And and there it is. There it is. She's she's now going to question him about Ramsey. She shook your hand. That's it. That's all that she did. The day of the full moon, Ramsey came to my house to talk to me. That's all right. Shaking my hand is not an admission of guilt. Yeah. See, I knew there was something else about that shaking the hand. Danny wasn't a threat anymore. She marked him. What if she knows everything? Maybe she's the voice on the phone. Oh. Where is he? Alright. Let's put some clothes on him. We're taking him to the hospital. What if what? he wakes up? I can't prepare him. Oh. He's got the silver bowl no, no, no. again. He's gonna die. Move. Move. That's a pretty big guess. I don't want you to go. I'm sorry. If Baron dies, we go back to normal. That fixes everything. No, it doesn't fix everything. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not leaving him alone. Ever can take care of himself. It's not ever. Um, I was I was gonna say he's not talking about Everett. And there was. Yes, there was a pack, Luna. There was a pack, Luna. Danny? Hey, Danny, don't open the door. Hey. Ooh. Hey, my little guy. Okay, why is Ramsey there? What is this? Blake, social services is going to be looking after you and Danny for a while. What? Why? So they're not giving me a choice. Since Danny has special needs, they're saying you're not going to be together. I have to file some kind of appeal. Can they do this? I know it's my fault. I know. I I, I know that I'm the root problem here. No. I know. Wait, no, what? Wait, what please. is going on? No, this is not your fault. This is my fault. Please, you can't let them do this. 
wait. Why are they separate? You know, Why? Really beautiful skin. It wasn't always like that, was it? No. Something helped change things for the better. Oh, or would she's... you think if we could help Danny change? Danny? No. That's right, Blake. Just like you. What no. if I don't want him to change? I think you do. No. You can say that you don't want Danny to be any different. Because that's the right thing to say. It's what you're supposed to say. But even Harlan would know you're lying without listening to your heart. No. Oh, she's really coming out strong now. Oh, damn. You're not letting me through. But they said if you need to talk to Garrett, they'll let you back. They're probably calling the cops. This Probably. is really complicated. I need to talk to my dad. Wait for me. And he's going to go talk to Garrett. But now it should be Blake that comes to see them. Look, there's his father. Matt, we need to talk about something. Oh. Wait, wait a second, Dad. You're not really doing this. You're right, I'm not. You did this. What? These are the results of your behavior. You need to... I never touched you. You ripped cookies from my hands. You I finally stood up to his mother. I you with a knife in his chest. I see this blood all over you all. Oh god, no, this is going bad. Please. Don't do this, me. This is not gonna help. Please. Oh god, no. Yeah, please don't do this. This is not gonna help, okay? Yeah, please don't do this. Oh god, no, this is not good. Everyone's life is kind of falling apart right now. Oh crap. Is it a bag full of. Toys for sick children. Yeah. Bag full of. Where do you think I got the epinephrine? You get everything here. And my dad. He's a total piece of shit, but he hooks me up. Who's his dad? Cody. What's your last name? Malcolm. You know that. Wait, what just happened? Where are you taking me? To meet your mother. She's been trying to find you for a long time. She started the wildfire. She knew it was the only thing that could bring you out of hiding. Oh, Malcolm, the guy! Just to find you. Some kind of motherly love. Isn't that? He's saying that Ramsey set the fire? No. I don't believe that. And how did he know she set the fire? Okay. Can you? So I'm wondering if Harlan knows that Malcolm took Baron, but he's also looking for Everett, I'm assuming. 
who's not there anymore. On the bricks. What is going on? You're under arrest for the murder of Officer Trenton, man. Turn around and put your hands behind your back. But he didn't kill Trent. I found you. Oh God, this is not good. I used most of the silver for the bullets. Good shot, though. Alive, just exploding. And how much of the truth did she tell her? Come on, no. Caller. Who is this? Besides the anonymous caller who found 18 bodies. Even if you made them a pack, they wouldn't be alive without me. I'd help them every step of the way. And I'm still helping them. How? Because I called Garrett first. <laughs> Okay, so how is that helping them? I'm, I'm lost. Who are you? No, no, no. Okay, so she didn't tell him. Still afraid like something's gonna happen to her. Ever is strong. So she can heal him? Mama. One tells me that he set the fire to lure her out. Oh! You're not as strong as you think you are. You've been human for too long. <laughs> no! No, don't kill him. You need him alive. 
no. Oh, he's still aiming the gun at her, though. Blake, your brother can have a normal life. Everett never has to feel anxious again. Luna can have the path that she's been searching for. Okay. And? And Harlan can have the father that he has always wanted. She's saying that. Not a human father. No. The wolf. <gasps> She's gonna have him fight Garrett. What? No. <laughs> No! God! No, we can't end that way! God, everyone's life just exploded! I think Luna's the only one who didn't lose anything. Harlan's been arrested. Everett's on a psych hold. Blake's lost her father and her brother because now they're gonna go into foster care and be split up. Barron's, at least Barron's alive. And yes, she was their mother. I mean, there were times where I didn't believe it and times that I did. But, like, it's crazy. Also, I saw in an article, or I saw in something, uh, but it never actually stated it in the show. So I'm actually kind of glad that it never stated in the show. So it wasn't really the biggest spoiler, but they actually did reveal that it was the actor who plays Peter Hale in Teen Wolf that was the voice behind the scenes of the unknown caller so I was right because I was like that sounds so much like um, Peter Hale from Teen Wolf so yeah it, it was right but I was kind of waiting for them to like reveal that in the episode but they never did so I'm actually shocked about that one but like what I Like, this episode was very slow going. We still don't really know who set the fire. Malcolm said it was Ramsey, but I. That was. She never actually confirmed that. So, my brain is now going did Malcolm set the fire to lure out Ramsey? Because maybe luring out Ramsey by, you know, setting off one of her kids. So that way he could get to her? Or am I just... Like, I'm so kind of confused about where that all ended with the whole fire. And, like, there's so many... But I feel bad for Harlan because, you know, he didn't kill the cop. So he didn't deserve to be arrested for killing the cop because it wasn't him that killed the cop. The cop went after him. Plus, even if he did kill the cop, it would have been self-defense because that cop was after Harlan in the worst way. Uh, so... Meanwhile, you got poor ever it being stuck on a psych hold because he just goes and stands up to his mother who's a horrible person mind you <sighs> and 
like being separated from her brother. Like, and I knew that handshake did something. I knew there was something about the handshake because they made a point of pointing it out when it wasn't something that was just like, oh, hey, shake my hand and move on. They made a point to like show the hand and show her reaching out and things like that. So it's like I knew there had to be something. And that's like one of the things that I've learned throughout um, all the different like writing classes and that I've learned is you don't say, or also through all the, the shows that I've watched too is you don't do something unless there's some you have a reason so it's like all these little foreshadowing things and that was one of them was the whole Ramsey shaking a hand it's like my brain was going like okay there's something to this but as things went on you know there I wasn't seeing anything so I kind of put it in the back of my mind and maybe forgot about it a little bit but as soon as they pointed it out here I was like oh yeah that's right I remember saying that in the first episode going like there is something about this that's going to come back up it's like something's gonna come out of it because they made a point to show her shaking hands and all that and I'm guessing from what Bleak and Everett figured out from Danny is that Ramsey protected Danny so that way Baron didn't kill him because that's the way I read it is that Ramsey protected Danny and now she wants to bring Danny into the fold of the pack same with Garrett This is very interesting, but oh, I need there to be a second season. I need it to be official and I need it to start filming like ASAP because I need to know what happens next. But I loved everything about this show. It was gritty. It was raw. It was uh, definitely darker and I loved everything about it and I need Harlan and Sil Cyrus to you know reunite and be happy and Austin I'm on the fence of him right now especially what he did to Baron I understand why he did it but at the same time I'm like and we Never really got the full answer. Is Connor dead? Was Connor part of that? Those bodies? Because we never really got the, uh, the answer to that. I'm assuming Connor is dead. And I'm assuming the anonymous tip came from the voice. That's my, my speculation. Either that or it came from Malcolm. <laughs> and then, what was the other thing? Oh, I need Blake and Everett to kind of be happy, too. And Blake to be reunited with her brother. But I still don't understand why her and her brother are being ripped away from her father. That one I don't understand. Did it have to do with the fact of finding Phoebe in the in the tub? Did that lead to it? Because I mean things were pretty okay. I mean they were great, but it's not like he was fully neglecting them. He was doing what he could to support them and everything. They were about to move into a new apartment, so I'm like, I'm very confused why now social services isn't getting involved. Does it have to do with what happened with Phoebe? So, that that one is confuses me a bit. 
and poor Luna's stuck outside not knowing any of this is going on. But, oh my god, that, that was a crazy episode. I look forward to hearing that it's been picked up and for the next season. <laughs> So, okay, so that was episode 8 of season 1, Wolfpack. And, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like. If you're enjoying my content, please be sure to subscribe. If you have anything you want to say about the episode or the reaction, please comment down below. I do post full episodes and early access on my Patreon, which you can find in the description below. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And until next time, bye guys.